Good day everyone! Today we are going to be discussing about the relative density, lecture and example problems. Now, let us discuss about the relative density of a soil, lecture and example problem. The relative density, or TR, indicates the in situ denseness or looseness of a granular soil, usually expressed in percentage. It is defined as dr equal to e max minus e all over e max minus e min multiplied to a hundred percent to get an answer in percentage where dr is the relative density in percentage e is the in situ void ratio of soil e max is the void ratio of the soil in loosest condition e min is the void ratio of the soil in the densest condition by using the definition of the dry unit weight, we can also express relative density in terms of maximum and minimum possible dry unit weights. Thus, the relative density is equal also to this formula, where gamma dry mean is the dry unit weight in the loosest condition at a void ratio of E max, gamma dry is the in situ dry unit weight at a void ratio of E, and Gamma dry max is the dry unit weight in the densest condition at a void ratio of E min. The values of the relative density may vary from a minimum of 0 for a very loose soil to a maximum of 1 for a very dense soil. Soil engineers qualitatively describe the granular soil deposits according to the relative density as shown here in the table. For a relative density of 0 to 15, it is described as a very loose soil. For 15 to 50, it is loose. 50 to 70, medium. 70 to 85, dense. And 85 to 100, very dense. But in actual practice, the relative density in construction must be greater than 95%. Example problem number 1. For a given sandy soil, the maximum void ratio in its loosest condition or E max is equal to 0.75. The minimum void ratio or the void ratio in the densest condition is equal to 0.46. And the void ratio in C2 condition of the soil is equal to 0.524. Find the relative density and qualitative description of the soil deposit. Solution from the formula of the relative density equal to E max minus E all over E max minus E min multiply to 100% to get an answer in percentage. Substitute the values of E max, E, and E min. We will solve the relative density equal to 77.93%. Next, the qualitative description of the soil deposit. From our table, since the value of the relative density is equal to 77.93, the relative density is between 70 to 85, therefore it is a dense soil. So that's it. Thank you for listening for our discussion about the relative density of soil. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to get notified for the updates about the geotechnical engineering lectures and other civil engineering lectures. Goodbye!